welcome everybody. I'm so happy today um, to have with me Nicole Mitchell. Um, she's joining me from Sydney, Australia, and she is with Discover Aboriginal Experiences. And she's going to share with us today, um, Australia just does such a great job with um, highlighting Aboriginal culture and, and different experiences and a lot of hands-on um, activities throughout um, the the country. So I'm excited to have you with us today, Nicole. Thanks, Julie. Thank you very much for the invitation and um, welcome everybody who ends up watching this presentation. It's, um, it's morning time here in Australia. I'm looking out to the ocean here in Sydney and it's beautiful. Um, and it's good afternoon to, at the moment to everyone um, in Canada. And it's great to be here to share a little bit about Australia um, that um, can help with future planning. Exactly, so exactly. what I've got is a, a bit of a presentation we're going to go through um, just to give you a flavour about what is um, about Aboriginal culture, Australia's culture, and a little bit about some of the experiences that are available to just to whet your appetite. And then Julie's going to put some resources and further information on her website and social streams that you can further access. Absolutely, that's right. All right, so let's get started. Um, I hope you enjoy the, the visual journey through this presentation as well of the experiences throughout Australia. We will, thank you. Okay, so first of all, um, and I discover Aboriginal experiences is part of the broader signature experiences group of Australia. And I can hear you going, what is signature experiences? It's really the premium experiences that offer um, engagement and very close connection to guides, small group touring, specialised touring, really for those passion points about why you would come to Australia. So for example, ultimate winery experiences, it's not just about tasting the wine, it might be about tasting the wine from the batch or doing a cooking class while tasting wine or meeting the winemaker. And Australian Wildlife Journeys is all about expert guides and seeing the beautiful wildlife, the wallabies, the wombats, the kangaroos in the wildlife. And what I look after is a collective called Discover Aboriginal Experiences, which is about our culture, our Indigenous culture, and um, every experience is Aboriginal guided. So you're really getting an insight into Australia. So heading on now, let's have a look a bit about Aboriginal Australia. So a little bit of a history lesson to start with. Most people don't know, but um, our culture is the oldest living culture in the world. So our culture is still practiced today. It's over 60,000 years old. If you look at that beautiful colored map of Australia, that represents all the different language, tribal or nation groups of the indigenous people of Australia. And you'd be surprised to hear there used to be 250 different languages spoken in Australia, in Aboriginal Australia, and there's still 120 different dialects spoken today. So if you're doing an experience up in far north Queensland, say in the Cairns region, it will be a completely different experience to that in Darwin or Kakadu. The language will be different, the customs may be different, the plant uses may be different. So as you can see, it gives great diversity of experience in Australia and great insight. So let's have a little bit of um, look about what makes it special um, going on a Discover Aboriginal Experience product. Our key promise to you is coming to Australia and joining one of our experiences that we're going to showcase this culture to you. It's the person who owns the story who's going to be telling the story to you with authenticity and meaningful connection. Aboriginal guided, I mentioned this before. I mean, as you can see from the lovely Manuel here from Top Digi and Catherine, very engaging, very humorous people, very warming, very welcoming people. Aboriginal guides love sharing their story. It's one of the ways that we can um, assist in maintaining our culture and sustainability of culture, which we see is very, very important here in Australia. And often the guides will get you to places that are not accessible to everybody. So it really opens things up for you. The other thing is that every part of Australia is Aboriginal country. And every part of that country, every part of that has a different story to be told. So for example here, we're looking, if you can see in the background, that's Uluru in Central Australia. 
And the formation of Uluru, according to the Dreamtime stories of our Indigenous people, is about two snakes fighting. So it really brings that landscape to life. So whatever you're looking at in Australia, and you know we've got some amazing scenery and landscapes and coastal and bush and outback, and it's really having a deeper understanding of that. Um, great diversity of experiences. So as you can see, very personalised, very engaging. In this collective, we have 45 businesses. Um, it's not a collective they pay to be in. It's about achieving a certain status and level and, and really being those quality, engaging experiences. And most importantly, as I said, that Aboriginal guiding. So with those 45 experiences, there's 150 different experiences that you can do. Um, all around Australia. So if we have a look at this map of Australia, which is broken up into states and territories, you can see the breadth of experiences that we have. And you can't probably going, oh gosh, which ones do I include in which destinations? And that's where um, we're here to help you and Julie will be able to help you plan an amazing itinerary. And let's have a look at some of these in terms of that diversity that I just mentioned. So we've got exclusive accommodation. Now, who wouldn't want to stay in that fantastic purpose-built dome accommodation in Tasmania, in northern Tasmania in the Bay of Fires with Wukalina Walk? The actual um, hot water bottles are made of kangaroo skin. So it's actually like you're cuddling a, a kangaroo when you go to bed at night. Um, you can do active adventures. Two hours north of Sydney, you can go quad biking and come across Aboriginal midden sites, which have great significance. Or you can jump on a kayak, go on a bushwalk, you can go um, spear, spear fishing, and of course, nature and wildlife, which is so important in our country. On that vessel there on yellow waters, they'll be out looking for crocodiles and bird life and talking about the Aboriginal culture at the same time. There's a really big rise in wellness, you know, globally that we know. And the Indigenous people, we're learning so much from them in Australia. And we're really starting to see a lot of the bush foods coming into our medicine, but also into our cuisine. So we've got a lot of experiences like Bob here um, from Alice Springs. He does this amazing dinner in the outback in the Alice Springs. Um, we are sitting under the stars, he's cooking a five course meal, you're tasting some indigenous flavors and really having a chat about culture. The other thing is when you look at the stars in Australia from an indigenous perspective, we always look at the stars. Whereas indigenous people used to guide their way around by looking between the stars and their stories are between the stars. So as you can see, there is so much to see and do. Art and museums, you may have heard about Aboriginal rock art. You can also um, try and do your own art piece and people come up with the most amazing dot art with Maracu Arts. Also, there's a bit of a perception that perhaps if I want to do one of these cultural experiences, I've got to go into the outback and I'll have to travel for hours. And it's not that at all. I mean, we have experiences that are very, very accessible, such as Margaret Campbell here, from um, Dreamtime Southern Cross. You can see Sydney there recognising the Harbour Bridge in the background. She runs a one and a half hour walking tour in Sydney. And so you get a bit of a flavour there of the type of experiences. What I'm gonna do is take you on a bit of a journey through Australia. Let's keep, pull out some key ones that I think that you would really enjoy. That's um, Yeah, and the, the key thing I think when we're looking at this is flavoring your itinerary so if you're looking at going to sydney you could be doing the walking tour that i mentioned before with margaret campbell it's a great welcoming to australia if you're going up to uluru you could be doing dot painting with Marikou arts and then if you're heading over to cairns you might go to the great barrier reef with an indigenous guide or go mud crabbing or up to the dane tree so it's really about putting those those highlights that really bring that landscape to life and you get that added dimension um, these experiences aren't any more um, expensive than other experiences. So if you're going to the Great Barrier Reef and an Indigenous Guide, or if you're doing a regular tour, they're on par cost-wise. So please don't think that you need to pay more. It's just more that this is the type of experience that's being offered. So heading into New South Wales, which you know Sydney is um, the capital of, we've got some great experiences. I touched there on Dreamtime Southern Cross. A lot of the flights get in early in the morning. Your room may not be ready till the afternoon. Why not go out and get your bearings? Have a welcome to country, which is like a smoking ceremony, and learn about how modern day our Indigenous culture is practiced. 
or you might want to go for a walk in the gardens or go to the museum. Regional New South Wales, there's a great one here that I think all clients or all people from Canada would love, which is Sand Dune Adventures. I know that the um, Canadians have a bit of an adventurous spirit mm -hmm. and this is getting on a quad bike out on the biggest sand dunes, on the biggest bikes. Family friendly, they have kid bikes, they had doubling bikes. And what's so amazing is your main experience is actually about you know, the adventure and being on the dunes and, and the bikes and the scenery, but you're also learning a little bit about culture as well. Heading into the Northern Territory, we have the most Indigenous experiences in the Northern Territory. Um, I mentioned to you about Uluru, the dot painting class that you can do, an absolute must. And the timing of that is really good because when you go to Uluru, a lot of the attractions are around sunrise and sunset. So in the middle of the day, it's a bit of a hangout time, maybe go to the pool, why not do an hour art class and you've got a beautiful memento to take home with you. Or you might be heading up to Alice Springs. There's Bob that I mentioned, the fantastic chef. Or going out with Kark and maybe trying a witchetty girl. Um, heading north to Darwin, which is the top end of Australia in the Northern Territory. We've got this experience, you can go over to the Tiwi Islands. And it's one of, um, they call it the Island of Smiles. Um, the people over there are amazing. You learn about art, you learn about culture, you have amazing damper foods, and it's a really lovely experience. Now, Kakadu National Park, we have seven experiences in Kakadu National Park and Arnhem Land um, that are so amazing in terms of seeing rock art. They're immersive, you're out on waterways, um, you're looking for crocodiles, you're learning about culture, you're seeing rock art. You're looking at amazing scenery um, and discovering, as I said, the stories behind the rock art. So the rock art that you can see there with Davidson's, that tells a story. That's how the indigenous people, they were nomadic people or are, and they used to tell their stories for the next tribe group that might be coming through the area, that this is a great place for fish or, you know, this you might be able to catch eels here. So um, that's all those stories are told to you. And it's just amazing when you look at that on rocks and go, this could be over 60,000 years old. Um, heading south from Darwin or coming around your loop from Kakadu National Park, a great itinerary is Darwin into Kakadu, down to Catherine, then back up to Darwin. It's a fantastic loop. If you've got Nipmaloc tours and Top Ditch, now going into the gorge with an Indigenous guide is amazing. So many experiences you can do there from helicopters to canoeing to walking to staying at Sakata Lodge. Heading into Queensland, we all love Queensland, a bit of sunshine. Um, we have a lot of experiences, as you can see, 10 from the base of Queensland. And some of the key ones that I'm going to point out to you, as I mentioned before, Julie has the knowledge on all of these experiences, and it really is your expert to touch base with um, for including these experiences. But Dreamtime Dive and Snorkel is a new experience that started last year that you go to the Great Barrier Reef with an Indigenous guide. So you may have remembered me telling you about, like Lirui was the story of the two snakes mm -hmm. fighting. Um, the Great Barrier Reef is actually the story of the stingray. And it's, so it's really understanding the environment you're in and you know the changes in the environment and why changes happen at certain times. Or you might want to get out and throw a boomerang or throw a spear, do an art class, get up into the Daintree. Another great one which you can do with Adventure North, Walkabout Cultural Adventures and also Culture Connect is mud crabbing. So you go up into this beautiful where the rainforest meets the reef and literally the palm trees almost feel like they're touching the water. And you go out and get mud crab and you cook up fresh mud crab. You cannot get anything fresher than that. Um, and it's a lot of fun. So as you can see, there's a lot to do in Far North Queensland. Jamble Gallery, you might have um, a day that you want a bit of time out of the sun. You want to go and do an art class. It's 10 minutes out of Port Douglas. So really easy to do. As you can see, it's a whole flavouring the itinerary. I hope you're getting and understanding that. Brisbane and halfway between Brisbane and Gold Coast, there is an amazing inner evening dinner show experience with Spirit of the Red Sands. Um, into South Australia, we've got the amazing Woolpena Power Resort for a real outback experience. Down in Tasmania, I touched before, we've got the three-night, four-day amazing walk with Wukalina. 
And then to Victoria, I know that a lot of Canadians like to visit Melbourne. It's a great city. I live in Sydney and there's always rivalry between Sydney and Melbourne, but I love visiting Melbourne. Um, some great experiences. The Royal Botanic Gardens, I think, is an absolute must. It's an amazing gardens. And you know, I talked before about wellness and knowing what's good for you. How do they know that that was the plant type they could eat and how to and do they know which ones they couldn't eat? So that's another one. Also a walking tour with Koori Heritage Trust, which again, you can see how our Aboriginal culture, you know, is alive and practiced in city environments. And that's just an hour walking tour. So really easy to slot in, or you might want to go to the museum, which is amazing. Regional Victoria, if you're going down the Great Earthen Road, you have to call in to warn. I'm sure you're going to see some wallabies as well. Now, Western Australia, big, big, big part of Australia, so many experiences. We've got experiences in Perth from, with Dale, based on culinary, exploring the city. You can get out to regional Western Australia. Here you are up in Broome with Bart, who's a bit of a legend. His dad is a famous museum. You go out on a sunset cruise. He plays some of those songs for you. Or over here, we've got Josh, who's playing the didgeridoo down near the Margaret River in the caves. So in the limestone cave, so you can just imagine how that sounds. Um, we've gone through a lot of experiences in a very short time. Um, but as I mentioned, Julie is your expert and we've got some um, resources that can help you as well. Um, have a bit of a look at what you want to see and do in Australia. So we've got the first one is the portfolio document, which is literally every single tour. So there's 150 experiences, but what I encourage you to look at is our brochure, which you can going to be able to download from the website. Mm -hmm. And that is a beautiful pictorial journey. I, we, when we put this brochure together, it was kind of like, you know, when you're lying in bed and you're dreaming about going on a holiday and planning what you're going to do, this is the book to pick up and read a few pages each night and really understand, you know, I talked about mud crabbing, Davidson Safari Bay, getting out on billabongs, looking at the wildlife, seeing the sunset and learning about our Indigenous culture and heritage. So what I'd also like to show you is, well, in summary, I'm just going to um, run through that, we have the world's oldest living culture. We are really passionate about sharing that with you. Our guides are very warm, very welcoming. It will add that dimension to any trip to Australia that will really bring Australia to life. Authentic, engaging, and most importantly, if you're um, booking an experience that is in this collective, those experiences are quality experiences with all the right license, permits, practices that, um, they need to achieve to partner with us at Tourism Australia. So I encourage you to flavour your itinerary. And what I'd really like to do is, I have spoken about some of the experiences, but I've got a short video, three minute, that will, I'm sure, whet your appetite to travel to Australia, number one, see the type of experiences, but also take the opportunity to meet our Indigenous people and go on an experience with an Aboriginal guide. So let's hit that. to the adventure. The adventure is to show and share our culture. Every plant, every animal is our family. They are our ancestors. They live. They grow. So we can live and grow. We are all connected. Thank you. 
Great, Nicole. Thank you so much. No it's, problem. Yeah, I, it's always something I find I like to add to my client's itinerary is one of those these experiences because it just adds um, a depth to the to their holiday, to their trip, to their understanding about the country. And I feel like it the country becomes more like so much more meaningful to get to know you know the people and hear the stories and. Um, those are things that really stick with them. So, yeah. yeah. And I think it's often when you go on holidays, it's about the people you meet. Yeah. You know, people that you meet in that destination and that stays with you the most. And, and yeah. definitely with doing, um, you know, one of the experiences and discover Aboriginal experiences, you're going to meet some Australian characters. Yeah. Um, you're going to hear some great stories and you're going to make lifelong friendships. You know, I know, um, for example, one of our businesses, Warren Walker, um, who just, and the mud crabbing experience, Walk About Cultural Adventures, was telling me he just loves it because he's got friends now from around the world Aww. who have been out on tour with him. And that's, you know, very much what, what it's like. Um, and as you can see from those photos, they're all quite personal. You're like you're on a kayak with one other person or, mm -hmm. you know, you're doing a hike. So it's all very small group, which allows for engagement and conversation. And, yeah. you know, you're not part of a big group that's standing around trying to uh, perhaps hear a guide. You're, you're really engaging on that personal level. Yeah. And there is something for everyone. So if someone's into, um, you know, staying in amazing accommodation or trying different cuisine or adventure or coastal activities or or wants to get to the outback. There's that diversity of experience, which I think right. works well as well. Yeah, absolutely. Something for everybody. And a lot of hands-on, you know, experiences where, where you're, you're actually, you know, physically like, you know, doing the, like the mud crabbing or the paint, the dog. Yeah, that's- Yeah, it's yeah just very amazing. engaging and immersive experiences. And that's mm -hmm. really what everything is about with the being in the, all the signature experiences. So, you know, you might be going to a winery or doing a wildlife tour and then um, going out with a guide from Discover Aboriginal Experiences. So it's a great way to put together your itinerary for Australia. Absolutely. That's wonderful. Well, thank you so much. I will make sure um, all of the um, the information, the brochures, um, and those flat sheets will be on um, the Plan My Australia trip website. And um, yeah, so we'll have that on there for for everyone to view. And um, and happy to I'm happy to put together itineraries for you know for clients or if they want to just you know they're going to be in a city and they just want to join up with one of those. It's yeah, it's perfect. So. Yeah, Great. exactly. That's it. You can just put slot in those um, experiences. Yeah. So. Exactly. Oh, that's wonderful. Well, thank you so much, Nicole. This was just so wonderful. Yeah. And I, again, like I can't tell you how much I appreciate it. And I think it's just a huge component of um, people for them to consider when they're putting together a trip to Australia. So it's wonderful. Great. Yeah. The opportunity. So, and look forward to welcoming me down here to Australia. Absolutely, absolutely. Now. Things are looking good here. 
They are good, good, good. Excellent. Okay, well, wonderful. Enjoy the rest of your day, and um, and we, yeah, it's, uh, we can't wait to start sending clients um, down your way. Thank you. Thanks okay. very much, Julie. Thank you. Bye. Bye.